Our next rule says power of a product rule. It says if n is a positive integer, oh that should just be integer, and a and b are real numbers, then a, b, all of that raised to the n power would be the same thing as saying a to the n power times b to the n power. Now here again, let's see why this is happening. Let's take something that would not be too bad. Let's just say we have x, y quantity squared. Now, what, it me what does it mean to square something? It literally means to multiply it to itself. So x, y squared would be like saying x, y times x, y. Now all we have is multiplication here. So I should be able to rewrite it as x times y times x times y. And because multiplication is commutative and associative, you can do it in any order you want to. So I should be able to rearrange these items to say x times x times y times y. Boy, my pen is not working so great, is it there? Let's try that again times y times y. Now x times x is multiplying x to itself two times. That's the same thing as saying x squared. And y times y is multiplying y to itself two times. So this is really x squared y squared. Now if we look at it using the rule do you see that it's almost like this n is being distributed to both of those items inside the parenthesis? This only works with a product. It only works when you only have multiplication there. If you have anything else, it does not work. The rule does not apply. It has to be a product raised to a power. That's extremely important. But once we do have a product raised to a power, then it's like we can distribute that out. So the x squared is, uh, the x is going to get the square, and the y is also going to get the square. So by the time that we um, square both of them, our answer would be x squared, y squared, and we didn't have to go through all of that. So let's do this example and uh, let's see how this will work. Now this one's a little bit more involved because we actually have four things being multiplied together in here. But the rule is still the exact same. It's like, since all we have here is multiplication, this is negative 3 times x times y times z. So every one of those items is going to get the power. Each one of those factors is going to get the power. So the negative 3 will be raised to the third power. The x to the seventh will be raised to the third power. The y will be raised to the third power. And the z squared will be raised to the third power. And now we've got things to clean up. Negative 3 to the third power would be negative 27. And here we have a power raised to a power. That was one of our rules from earlier that says when you have a power raised to a power, you're supposed to multiply. So that would be x to the 21st power. And then here we have y to the third. And we have z squared raised to the third. So again, we have a power raised to a power, which would be z to the 6 because power to power you would multiply. So our answer would be there.